There are many integral parts that go into the operation of a racetrack on any given race night, and many go unnoticed. One of the most important of those jobs is that of the guy standing above the track on the flag stand, who pretty much is directing the race in communication with the race director. It's not an easy job by any means, and may be dangerous at times. But Don Forbes has been at it for a long time, in addition to the other jobs that led him there. Don was born and raised in Mexico and attended schools there. After he graduated in 1972, he went right to work at the Mexico Independent Newspaper. That's where he met George Caruso and how his journey began. Don continued working at the Independent for 11 years and then moved to Niagara Mohawk. George asked if he was interested in a job at the Speedway. So he went home and asked his wife if he was ever going to have enough money to own a race car. She said, definitely not. So he said yes to George's job offer and started in 1977 in the third turn. Don was also a member of the safety crew and worked in the third turn for six or seven years. Then he worked fourth turn for a while and when he was doing shift work, Don worked the second turn and then on the trucks. When Jerry Kritzman became the starter, Don went back to the first turn for probably 10 years. When Jerry Kritzman went to flag full-time as the ISMA flagman, Don moved to the starter stand. He took over when Jerry left and has been doing it ever since. Don got to work with Bruce, Jerry, Norm, and just learned about the races, the safety aspects, and what the priorities were as far as the drivers. Don has 40 plus years at Oswego, something you don't see much anymore. There isn't a lot of the younger generation looking to replace him as starter or in other jobs. Congratulations to Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductee, Don Forbes.